Okay, question eight. Monument model for a computer uses registers. Describe the role of following special purpose registers in the fetch execute cycle. Memory address registers. It stores the address of current instruction. It also stores data fetched just now. Okay, sometimes you might have uh, Sir Excel calculation O level. Yes. Uh, sir, what about partially compiled and partially interpreted programs? Partially compiled and partially interpreted programs are called Java byte code. So what basically happens that Java claims that uh, their programs are actually Java is high level language. And if once the language code is compiled for a particular uh, uh, processor, it only works for that processor, the machine code that is generated after the compilation. But Java suggests otherwise. Java says that whenever you use Java code, you won't have to recompile the code again and again. Rather, it will be the same one single code that you put over the server and whoever, whatever hardware uses it, whoever downloads it, it will work. So it means that when you write the program once, it will be working over Windows PCs, old Windows PCs, any generation PCs, Mac PCs, iOS, Android, tabs and all, how? So what basically happens that over the server, Java does not compile the whole code to the machine code level, rather it half compiles it. Half compilation means to the level where there is no syntactical discrepancy, means there are no physical error. It might have logical error, but it does not have any error that won't let it to be converted into the machine form. So all the human related physical errors, except logic errors are removed. That is called Java bytecode. And then the Java company has created JVM, Java Virtual Machine. That virtual machine is made virtually for all of the hardware in the world. So whenever you are downloading a Java program, automatically JVM for that particular machine is downloaded. When you download the Java byte code over any of the machine, Actually, the processor on that machine does not actually execute that bytecode, rather the JVM that is downloaded along that code. So that JVM is basically not the compiler. It is interpreter. So JVM downloads that bytecode and then interprets it for that particular machine. So that is how Java maintains that the code is partially compiled and partially interpreted. That is what it is. So let, let's get back. The von Neumann model has MAR. MAR, it stores the address of current instruction. It also stores data fetched just now. It's all, not the data, data address. It stores address of the data address. It also stores address of the data fetched just now. 
So if you like to have any information, any data, any instruction from the RAM, all you have to do is to put that address in the MAR and you get that instruction or data in MDR. So it holds the data or instruction whose address is stored in MAR. That's it. So the JavaScript part you explained has been removed from, no, no, it is not. It's there in operating system end part. Describe how the code is partially compiled and partially interpreted. It is after compilers and interpreters, Peter. Eight eight two. Another special purpose register is index register. Identify one other special purpose register uh, used in von Neumann architecture. We have got PC. We have got CIR. We have got status register. And that's it. These are the registers that we have actually discussed while we were doing the syllabus. Okay. So let's see LDM, load immediate, load direct, store, increase, compare, jump if not equal, jump anyway, import, output, and exclusive or with the value, exclusive or from the address or with the value or from the address. And with the value and from the address, logical shift left and times, logical shift right and times. When we shift left, we multiply by two every time we shift left. And when we shift right, we divide by two every time. But we don't keep points because the answer will always be an in integer. So let's see. Uh, Okay, so we have got this address 100 and we have data. So addresses are in binary and data is in binary. Okay. Uh, current content of accumulator is this exclusive R101. 101 we have four ones, four zeros. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we are excluding exclusive ordering it. So what exclusive or does whenever both values are same answer is zero otherwise it is one. So one zero one zero zero one zero one. So this is your answer one zero one zero zero one zero one. Remember Whenever you are giving answer, which is a byte or two bytes, always try to have a little space between every four bits so that your examiner could easily read it. And with location 104, 104 has all ones here. So all ones means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you have to end. What end does wherever there is a zero, answer is zero. And whenever it is one, answer is one. So one, 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 zero, 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 zero. LSL four times, LSL four times. So one time it will be one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Then one, two, this is one time. One, two, one, two, three, four. This is two, then one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. This is three times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So basically, this is fourth time. So your answer will be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That is your answer. You have shifted left four times. So all the fours, all the zeros on the left are dropped 
and the ones which were actually on the right side are moved to the left. LSL is, Sanya, it is basically an op code that means that to shift the bit left. This is called logical shift. So if it says one, you shift it once. If it says two, three, four, how many times you have shifted it? So logical shift left, logical shift right. This is what it means. Now, all ones, what we have to do, we have to all it with 102. So what do we have at 102? Triple zero, sorry, four zero four ones. Four zeros, four ones. So we have to audit. So answer remain the same. All ones. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, the following uh, table contains five assembly language instruction groups, data movement group, input and output group, instruction we have in or out. Data movement group, we have got LDM, LDR, LDI, LDX, LDD, and that's it. LDM, LDR, LDI, LDX, LDD, and move, sorry. These are the data movement group. Input and output, we have got just in and out. Arithmetic operations, we have add, we have subtract, we have increase, we have decrease. Uh, and then unconditional and conditional. So unconditional are J, M, P, and conditional are J, P, and jump if not equal, and J, P, E, jump if equal. Compare instructions, compare are Compare with address and compare CMI is indirect address. Okay, so we have compare with direct address and compare CMI. So you have to write just one out of these. Uh, and how do we multiply by two? If uh, how do we multiply by two in this is LSL is basically agar aap likhte hain LSL one time it means that you have multiplied by two. If you write LSL two times it means that you have multiplied by four. If you have LSL three it means that you have multiplied by eight things like that. The opcode LDM. LDM means immediate. Immediate means whatever the value that is given, put that value in the accumulator. LDD means direct. Go to this address, bring in the data and put it in accumulator. As in first, pay attention to what we are doing. Later I'll explain it. What does CMI do? CMI is compare with address, but this is indirect addressing. Means if I write CMI 32, it means that go to 32, find the actual address and go there and bring in the data and then compare it. CMP means if it is CMP, just go at this address and find whatever it is, then compare with it. Get it, Bhavish? All right, identify and describe one additional mode of addressing. We have got indirect addressing. That CMI is indirect addressing. All right, indirect addressing. Address, pair, the data lies is at the given address. So 
it is the address in indirect the address to be used is at this particular address theek hai so we may have uh, relative addressing we may have index addressing okay so that's about it